fellow Mad Troopers, and welcome back to another episode of Saturday Set Review. Today we're going to take a look at set number 75901, Scooby-Doo's Mystery Plane Adventures. This set comes with 128 pieces. It was released in the year 2015. The original retail price was $19.99. You can find it over on eBay right now, anywhere from $60 and above for a used set, $100 and above for a set still in the box, and over on Amazon, I saw it listed for $133. It comes with three minifigures, two of them being original to the set, and an original Lego piece that was created this year. So now let's take a look at the three minifigures that come with this set. Pilot Scooby-Doo, a reproduction of Shaggy, and the Headless Horseman. This is absolutely my favorite cartoon character of all time, Scooby-Doo. And in this case, he is Pilot Scooby-Doo. You can see that he is wearing the pilot goggles above his eyes. That makes him original and unique to this set. His right side shows a little bit of detailing. The back side, the only detailing on the back side is that his tail sticks out. And of course, you have that beautiful blue collar around his neck. His left side also has spots. And because they're Lego and they love to do this special little detailing here, you can see the actual letters SD for Scooby-Doo in his collar, just like it is in the cartoon. I absolutely love when Lego does a special detailing like this because they don't have to, but yet they do, right? It's beautiful, beautiful little paint job on it. Look at that gold frame around the SD letters there for Scooby-Doo. Plus they add a little gold paint where the collar comes together for a little bit of the chain. So with every box set that they made for this series, each one includes a Scooby and a Shaggy. There was only one set where Scooby-Doo was released by himself and that was set number 30601. That was a poly bag released in 2016, you can find it over on Amazon right now for 28 bucks. But the only thing that was included in that poly bag was one Scooby-Doo figure that came in two pieces. Shaggy is carrying what looks like to be some type of a newspaper article with some newspaper clippings with it maybe, with that uh, what looks like to be a paper clip that's also attached to it. We'll get to that once we take a look at Shaggy. You can see that Shaggy has his classic green shirt and brown pants with the light brown hair and a happy face. His left and right sides hold no special detailing, just showing that he is wearing a short sleeve shirt. Again, this version of Shaggy comes with another set from week one, set number 75900, the Mummy Museum Mystery. There is another double version of Shaggy we'll take a look at in the upcoming weeks. But for now, let's move on to the Headless Horseman, which also includes, which I like to add to as a character, is this horse. So technically, you're getting four minifigures with this set. Ah ha ha! What makes this item really unique is not just the fact that he is the Headless Horseman, but this is the year that they introduced this piece right here, the pumpkin piece. Now, underneath this pumpkin, he has an actual Lego head with a face, and they also included a couple of these pumpkins in Lego set number 75904, the Mystery Mansion, which we could possibly be taking a look at in the next couple of weeks. But that makes this a really unique figure in the fact that this is the first year, 2015, that Lego came out with this piece here, which I absolutely adore. The Headless Horseman is carrying a long sword and a golden chalice there. The right side of the horse has a special detailing in the face only. Same with the detailing, it has the detail on the left hand side of the face. And no detailing in the back, especially with the cape covering up the Headless Horseman's back. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the Headless Horseman by himself. So we took off his extra items so we can get a better look at his costuming here. You can see that the front of his chest has a little bit of a purple overlay, I'm guessing that's from his cape. He's in a blue suit with a black belt. You can see that his head is black on one side and he has a face on the other. That of course being because in the Scooby-Doo cartoons they are never actually really a ghost or a monster. There's always somebody in a costume trying to trick everybody into believing that they're a spiritual ghost so they can steal their money, property, and or whatever. But the mystery gang always foils their plans, especially with that talking dog. Moving on. His backside holds a little bit of detailing with some wrinkles in the shirt and a little bit of purple there above the collar. His right and left sides hold no special detailing. But when you put them all together, especially with that beautiful pumpkin head there, he makes for one heck of a character that any Lego fan would want to add to their Lego collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Shaggy was holding there. This is a newspaper with an extra little clipping on it. You can kind of see right here, there's a paper clip with an extra little clipping of paper on it, maybe a post-it note of some kind. And you can see that they're looking for a stolen trophy which I have to assume is this chalice that the Headless Horseman is holding right here. And as I said before, I like to include the animals as part of the character, so I actually would think that this is a fourth minifigure to the set. 
This is the Headless Horseman's horse. It's a beautiful white horse. We've already taken a look at it with the Headless Horseman on it. That is one of the extra items that comes in this set along with this beautiful propeller plane. Now the name of this set is the Mystery Plane Adventures and this is the Mystery Plane. You can see it has the same colors as the Mystery Van, Fred's Van in the Scooby-Doo franchise. The front of the plane shows us the black propellers with that beautiful orange cone front. The right side and left side are basically the same with some small detailing that we will point out here. So again, they have the basic green and blue colors that are the colors of the mystery van. Each side contains one hamburger bomb. The left side contains a chain with some type of a handle that Shaggy can hang on to. The tail rudder stickers are the same on the left and right side. These stickers are the same here, except that there is a pumpkin here showing you how many headless horsemen that they have taken out. And it seems to be five headless horsemen that have been taken out. You can see a bit of the engines here, which is pretty cool little design that they have into the plane. Over to the right side, we're going to go ahead and show you that they actually have taken out a couple more. I don't know if this is the pumpkins because they don't have the headless horseman pumpkin head on this side. So technically this could just be how many bad guys they've gotten all together. Maybe some of his henchmen, but you can see they have a total of seven on this side. Same design in the stickers on the tail fin here and on the side here. This side also carries the hamburger bomb. Does have a hook for one of the Lego figures to grab onto, but no chain. Looking at the back side here, you can see that all the coloring comes together with the blue, the green, and the orange. This is where Scooby-Doo sits to pilot the plane. He's got the one lever joystick here with a little bit of a window and the engines on each side. He can drop his hamburger bombs on top of the Headless Horseman and then fly away to live to fight another day. Scooby fits nice and snug inside his cockpit and Shaggy fits perfectly right behind him. They are ready to take off and hunt down the Headless Horseman. So as per usual, before I give my review and final last looks, we like to take a look at the instruction booklet so I can show you the, the parts page in case there are any parts that you may need to order. Again, the Lego designers have hit it off with another beautiful instruction booklet. You can see the Haunted Mansion in the background and the scary spooky trees all with those nice deep purple Halloween dark scary colors. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Now let's move on to the parts page. We have two pages to look at that I will be scanning over giving you time to pause and write down the part number and how many of that particular part that you may need. As always, please remember that not all parts may still be available and some of them may even have been discontinued. Now I'm ready to give my review and final last looks. So with the review, I'm going to give it a... Now here's the hard part. I want to give every Scooby-Doo set that LEGO has made a 5 out of 5. And I know I can't do that. Last week, I gave Lego set Mummy Museum Mystery a 4.5 out of 5. I was probably being just a little too lenient since it was a Scooby-Doo set, although it was nicely done, and I don't regret the review number that I gave it. That being said, I'm going to have to judge all these Scooby-Doo sets just on their own. So all the Scooby-Doo sets in general are going to get a 5. They are just well-executed sets with great characters and design. But there are some sets that are better than others in this series. So with this set, I'm going to give it another 4.5 out of 5. I don't think I'm going to go any lower than a 4.5 on any of these sets. But there are one or maybe two sets that will get that $5 sign rating. So for now, I'm going to give this a 4.5 signs out of 5 for your money. Again, this is set number 75901, The Mystery Plane Adventures. It contained 128 pieces. It was released in the year 2015, along with being the first release of this pumpkin head. The original retail price was $19.99, which was a steal. As of this date, you can go and look over on eBay right now for $60 and above for a used set, $100 and above for a set still in the box. And on Amazon, I saw it for $133 and above. And it comes with three minifigures, the original and unique Scooby-Doo with the pilot goggles. And you get a unique Headless Horseman again with the first time that this part was introduced. And that will end it for this week's episode of Saturday Set Review as we continue into the fall season here. We do have a couple more sets of Scooby-Doo left before we get to Halloween. Please join us next week as we look at another Lego Scooby-Doo set. But for now, thanks for watching. You are much appreciated. Have a great rest of your day and a better tomorrow. And remember, never stop tripping.